start. Awesome. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another day of month of education. Happy Tuesday. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. We are going to be talking about an exciting product with Dr. Vaughn, who's here with me today. Hey, Jade. Hey, excited to have you back on. Excited to talk about our collagen products. We have a tasteless collagen, and then we have a mango strawberry collagen. And so I'm sure we'll probably go over what's the difference and all that good stuff. So go ahead and take it over. All right. So I'm going to kind of use a mashup of slides here. We'll talk about predominantly the transfer factor collagen product. And then as we get through it, I'll kind of point out some of the differences that go along with the type one or the tasteless collagen. So you can kind of see some of the differences between them and help you, help you decide which one might be better for you. But before we go into each one individually or the differences, let's talk about collagen in general. So what is collagen? And collagen is the kind of connective tissue. If you have something in your body connected to something else, collagen is involved. You can kind of see here where the name gets its roots right, in, from the Greek, cola, meaning glue, and don't confuse this with your diet cola there. You might feel like that keeps you together, but it's not the same meaning. So collagen is, like I said, that main connective tissue. So you see it in your skin, in your muscles, cartilage, tendons, ligaments, all of those things. Again, these are things that connect one part of the body to another. And so they all contain Collagen. So roughly about 30% of the proteins in your body are one form of collagen or another. And in case you didn't get it earlier, it's what keeps you all together. So an important part of anyone's health, and it's there in a number of different important areas, and all of those kind of tied to health and well-being. So let's talk a little bit about a few of these in detail. Start off with the skin. This is probably where most people will see the difference in their collagen supplementation and what you're most likely to see as the first effects of these products. The collagen makes up a large portion of your skin, about 70% of it. And that's, again, there kind of because the skin is connected to everything. And it helps in some aspects with the elasticity of your skin. And clearly that's something you want, right? You don't want your skin to stretch too much and then kind of tear. So you want some elasticity, so it'll give a little bit, but then snap back into its shape. And as we age, those collagen levels do tend to decline. And that's where you see things like the wrinkles and fine lines and other things that are associated with aging. You also have collagen in and around your hair. Right? So it is part that strengthens the follicle, the part where the hair actually grows out of the skin. You're keeping that well, but you also have the collagen participating in the actual kind of structure of it. It does kind of create a little bit of a coating around the hair follicle itself to kind of help give it, a, again, some of those same things we talked about with the skin, that elasticity, the kind of the feel, if you will, of your hair. So healthy hair does contain a fair amount of collagen. You also have collagen in your nails. Now, not actually in the nail itself. That is largely keratin, another protein. However, the nail bed, so this part at the bottom of your nail and the stuff underneath the nail itself, that has a lot of collagen, and that's actually where the nail is grown from. Right? That's the new nail is produced within this kind of nail bed area, the base of your nail. So collagen is important in how your nails are grown. And a decrease in collagen can then lead to brittle nails and some other side effects associated with it. So it's actually not protecting the, the 
upper end of the nail, but actually as it's being created. So the, to make strong, firm nails, you need collagen. So talking more on a molecular level, collagen is actually made up of amino acids like any other protein in your body, but they form these kind of rope, these twisted curls, and that's the, the three-dimensional shape that collagen takes. Now you take those ropes and you kind of twist them all together. Now, if you've ever seen rope made or you ever work with rope, you know that the more twists, the more strands that are twisted together, the stronger that rope becomes. So you can take some really tiny strands, but if you put a lot of them together into a single rope, you can create a lot of strength that way. Same thing applies with the collagen in your body. These individual curls then mix together, create these stronger ropes, which are part of the durability and the strength of the collagen. You then put these ropes together into these eventual, it becomes like a sheet. And that's how you typically see collagen throughout the body. And these sheets have some flexibility and some stretching to them. So that that's what gives that kind of connective benefit and helps to maintain that youthful appearance. Now, as I kind of already talked about, there are a number of different types of collagen, about 28 of them in particular or in total. And each one kind of has a slightly different role. Now, most areas in the body contain multiple forms of collagen. Some areas have a dominant form. So you can kind of see a few of them here. Type one is mostly associated with the skin and the bones. Type two, you find also in the joints type thing, a little bit with your eyes. And type three goes into some of the organs and other structures in the body. These are just a few examples, but the different types of collagen are found in multiple places throughout the body and they all kind of work together. And usually you'll have more than one form of collagen in each of these areas. So you can see just really briefly, there are some structural differences between the different types of collagen, mostly in how those ropes are formed. And in, within the different types, you see here, here the green and the blue, these are different collagen molecules and they kind of get mixed, intermixed with each other and that's how you get the different types. So there's about a few different forms of collagen and then depending on how you mix and match them, you get the different types. Hopefully that makes sense. Now I talk about hydrolyzed collagen. If you may remember this discussion, we talked about hydrolyzed proteins, proteas, same discussion, different proteins. So in this case, it's the same process. We use a combination of enzymes, usually the same ones that are found in your digestive tract to break apart those ropes into the individual strands and then to further chop up those strands into smaller and smaller pieces. Now, why do we need to do this? This is what your body is going to do anyway once you consume this. We're starting the process off kind of reducing some of the burden on there. And the end result is that your body is able to utilize these individual amino acids a little bit more effectively. And so by having that hydrolyzed, then we're getting the collagen benefits a little bit faster. For some reason, it looks like I have the same slide here again. So we'll just, have the, I don't know how these all got duplicated in here. Sorry for the mess up. So we'll skip here into the ingredients. So here we're talking mostly about the TF or transfer factor collagen product. Here is a combination of multiple collagen types. So we're getting it from fish, from egg cell membrane, and chicken bone broth. Three different sources providing largely five different types of collagen. You can see them listed here, one, two, three, four, or excuse me, five and 10. Those are the main forms that come out of these three different sources. And so that has benefits in the skin, the joints, the muscles, you can see out here. Now the difference in the type one collagen, as the name suggests, is it is just the fish collagen. So it is largely just type one collagen. So if you're looking for benefits in terms of skin, type one collagen seems to be the most effective in that realm. In particular, fish collagen has been shown to be one of the best forms of type one collagen to aid with skin health. So if skin health is your main focus, then the type one collagen might be the better option for you. If you're looking to cover as many bases as possible, collagen sources throughout or places throughout the body, then the transfer factor collagen with its multiple sources and forms is the better product in that respect. 
the age-defying plant complex. This again is only in the transfer factor collagen product. You have a combination of a wheat extract, which is an extract concentrated in compounds called ceramides. Now, if you've ever seen the structure of your skin, it actually looks a lot like a brick wall. You have individual skin cells, and then you have this kind of mortar glue that sits between those skin cells. Now that glue isn't necessarily holding the skin together. Yes, that's part of the function, but a lot of it is to also hold on to moisture. And so that's what kind of keeps this, the moisture content in your skin is what's in those spaces between the skin cells. Ceramides are in that space and their main role then is to hold on to moisture and to keep the moisture levels in your skin up. Astaxanthin is a carotenoid, very good in helping to protect the skin from oxidation, in particular sunlight and other things which are damaging to your skin, especially with a lifetime of exposure, that damage builds up over time. And astaxanthin and a few other carotenoids will actually concentrate in the layers just under the surface of your skin. And so therefore it's kind of like an internal sunscreen of sorts and helping to deal with the oxidative stress that your skin is exposed to day to day. You do have vitamins in both products. A, C, and E are found in both of them. And then you have selenium in the type 1 collagen and biotin in the transfer factor collagen. Both of these, or all of these, are good nutrients. Again, the A, C, and E are antioxidants, each of them having slightly different roles in skin health. Vitamin C in particular is there to aid in collagen synthesis. So we're providing the building blocks for collagen, the necessary vitamins to aid your body in producing the collagen, and then the other ones which kind of help support that process as well. Lots of cofactors and other nutrients involved in overall skin health. So you're getting an assortment of them in both products. And of course, transfer factor in there for the immune benefits of the products. And that is, is your skin secondary to your gut is probably the second largest space where you'll find your immune cells. And just like with the gut, that's because that's a lot of times where things will enter into your body that you don't want. And simply a cut, a scrape, that breaks the barrier and allows things in. And so you wanna have some immune cells present to kind of deal with anything that might find its way in that way, catch it early, get it before it becomes a problem. So transfer factor in the skin product, is kind of almost a no-brainer. It's there to help support the health of the skin as well as the immune benefits we're all very familiar with. And so there you have it. Uh, the directions for either product is going to be one packet in water or really anything you want to mix it with. If it is warm or cold enough to drink safely, then you'll be fine adding either of these products to those. The tasteless, the type one collagen, probably a little more versatile in that respect. You can add it to almost anything you want. It's not going to have a dramatic, if any, impact on the flavor of that. And for a double whammy, you can certainly mix the two of them together. If you want a little extra collagen, you want to kind of skew a little bit more towards the skin health side of things, and you can certainly mix the two products together and take them that way. Now with that, there you go. There is the Transfer Factor Collagen products, all in a nutshell. Great ones to help support your skin and excellent set and options for you, depending on how you like to take them. With that, we'll turn it back over to Jade. Awesome. Love the collagen products, you guys. So good. I like the tasteless one in oatmeal. That's how I like to do it. It's easy to mix and yeah, tasteless. So great products. Thank you, Dr. Vaughn. So glad that you were able to join us and you guys, I'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you so much. Have a great day. See you Bye.